Today we're going to finish uh, our week on running to win, and part of running to win is balancing uh, our own freedom and our responsibility to other people. And that's what Paul talks about in the end of 1 Corinthians chapter 10 and verses 23 to 33. And we often forget that 1 Corinthians was, in fact, a letter, and it's a letter that Paul writes in response to a letter that he had received, just like uh, in former days. Now it's emails, it's not letters, but, you know, we reply to somebody. And in verse 23, that starts, all things are lawful, and that's in quotes, meaning this is from the letter that Paul received that he's responding to. So you have the church, or whoever authored that letter on behalf of the Corinthians, they believe all things are lawful. And then Paul's response is, but not all things are beneficial. Just because something is legal uh, doesn't mean it's helpful or beneficial. And then Paul again re repeats their quote, all things are lawful. And then he says, but not all things build up. So just because something's legal doesn't mean it's something that builds up other people or builds up the community. And then he says in verse 24, do not seek your own advantage but that of the other. And this is just a baked-in part of being a Christian. Um, we are not here to seek to advance ourselves over and opposed or against other people. We're here to build up other people. That's just a fundamental part of what we're called to do as followers of Christ, is to build up and to encourage other people. And then Paul goes on to have this discussion about uh, eating meat offered to idols, and is it okay or is it not okay? And, uh, and basically he asserts that um, other people's conscience uh, shouldn't impact his freedom if he partakes in thankfulness of food that's bought from a market or whatever. But he says if someone, he's invited to someone's a non-believer's house and they say the food was offered to an idol, then that's something where as a Christian he feels like he needs to speak up. And our verse for the day is verse 31, which is kind of the guiding principle in this section of 1 Corinthians 10, where Paul says, So whether you eat or drink, or whatever you do, do everything for the glory of God. And that's a principle I'd like you to think about as you go throughout your day to day. Whatever, whether you eat or drink, and whatever you eat or drink, and whatever you do, am I doing this in a way that will glorify God? Am I doing this in a way that uh, I can be unashamed in God's presence? Uh, am I doing this to build up other people? And in verse 32, he goes on to say, Give no offense to Jews or to Greeks or to the church of God. And that's part of our goal, is just don't give offense to people. And hopefully also, don't take offense. You know, so many people are offended at this, that, and the other thing that they don't agree with today. And, you know, Jesus just didn't take offense. He didn't let other people's behavior get to him. He stayed on his purpose. He kept running his race with purpose and passion. And that's what we're called to do, even as we seek to glorify God and to build up other people and to make sure our time is spent doing things that are beneficial and helpful.